Hey, Brian G. Johnson here from MarketingEasyStreet.com and today what I want to do is I want to talk about Google authorship and I want to share with you the very best way to not only just install Google authorship but I want to go beyond just basic installation and throwing up that thumbnail so you get it in the Google results. I want to go deeper than that and I want to share some optimization strategies for your website using Google authorship to build trust, credibility, uh, congruency, uh, familiarity, all these types of things that can greatly impact your results. So I'm going to hop over to a search listing. So I've, I've searched Google for how to launch a Kindle book and here you can see my result is number one. Now I'll also mention you can see here I've actually got a second listing with my Google Plus account. This is just one more reason why you absolutely want to be leveraging Google Plus. I've been talking about it now for a few three or four weeks and this is the year that Google Plus is going to blow up and you're going to hear a lot more about it and you have a chance to get in early so sign up to Google Plus. Now what I want to draw your attention to is we've got like a nice listing we can see how many people are uh, following me uh, 1600 almost 1700 and I've got my profile image and this is what we really want to leverage and we want to think about when we structure our website. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So the visitor, you know, they're searching because they're trying to identify a solution to a problem they have. In this case, they want to get some ideas on how they can launch a book to drive more sales, to uh, uh, create a buzz in the marketplace, and so on. Now, what I want to draw your attention to is this icon I'm using right here. This is actually a Google Plus badge and in this uh, video for Google Authorship not only am I going to show you a plugin that makes it really easy to use Google Authorship but I'm going to walk you through creating a badge like this. And why do you want to have this on your website? Well it's simple. This is uh, where the congruency and familiarity really begin to play and can offer your marketing so much more. Someone's searching, they're trying to solve a problem, they're trying to get some information, they're looking for someone that can help them. And we've got a lot of uh, listings that have uh, social media icons, but a lot of them don't. And by having an image, it really conveys trust, all the things I've mentioned. When they click over, you want that feeling to continue. You want to let people know that they're in good hands. So by creating a badge, using Google Plus, the same exact image that people see on the SERPs is going to be listed on your website. You see how this is very, very powerful? This um, improves the trust and credibility of your site, like I mentioned, and this is one way to extend and leverage the power of Google Plus in your web marketing. It's not just about what happens on a social site. It's about how you can use the tools that social sites provide to build a better mousetrap, right? To drive more traffic to your website. So that's part one. Now we scroll down and I want to kind of share with you some of the things I'm doing. Now first off, notice I've got some social media I icons and this is a, called social float bar. It's very good because it loads fast. It doesn't slow your website down as, as much as a lot of social sites can. You only need to install it in one spot. And as people scroll down, you can see that uh, right here, right? I've got some Google Pluses. I've got 64 likes. I've got tweets. Lots of good uh, social proof. Okay. Now, again, I've also got a book available at Amazon that further uh, establishes my credibility on the topic of launching a book and whatnot and yet again I've got another social media um, badge that I'm using this is called Facepile and basically anybody that has liked my Facebook page their face comes in here this is just creating more social proof for my website and it's uh, gonna lead to generally people thinking well if all these people like this I probably should like it too it's probably good information now you have to back that up with good content you can't just you know push out crap and expect to get results it's 2014 
That ended about six years ago. If you're still trying to find that plugin that can make you millions, it's time to retire from internet marketing or get serious. It doesn't have to be hard. You just have to create great content. This is what I call an anchor article. It anchors your rankings. It gives people something to be excited about. You really over deliver and when you do that you get all this social impact, shares, likes, tweets, people link to your site. I've got tons of links coming into this page because the article is very very powerful. Now you can see I continue to scroll down and the second part of the uh, Google Plus optimization is what I want to show you now which is basically an author bio and it's right here. Okay, this is called Starbox. Starbox, pardon me. And you'll notice they pull in the same exact icon again from Google Plus. So that's three times. Anybody that searches Google for that search term and clicks over it, they're going to see my image once in Google. They're going to see my image twice at the top sidebar of my site. And then at the bottom, I'm kind of, I've got a little blurb. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, serial entrepreneur, best selling author, engaging speaker, product creator, poodle wrangler who enjoys coaching others to success. And you can see I've, it, this plugin offers some uh, links out to your social profiles. So at the end of the article, you let them know who the heck is responsible for this content, and you provide a, a, the name again, which again, you can do this by using the plugin called Starbox uh, plugin. So I want to show you now how to configure this so you can take advantage of this for yourself. First of all, what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to come into uh, your WordPress dashboard and you're going to scroll to appearance and then slick, uh, slick, click on widgets and then simply pull in so there'll be a text widget down at the bottom here right here and just you're going to drag and drop that and you're going to uh, drag and drop it to the very top position of your sidebar and again if we come back up here to the top of this article you can see this is what we're going to create first okay this is basically called a Google Plus badge for your website and this does some of the same things I mentioned before number one you can see it's got followers so I've got 1699 followers that's credibility that's social proof and you can get people started on your website by providing that image and some of that social proof people can also just hover over and they can click follow and from my website if they're on Google Plus they can follow me it's really powerful you want to build up a platform on social media sites like Google Plus like Facebook like YouTube so you have a chance to push out content to people from different places think about that okay I'm gonna talk more about that in 2014 and how you can pretty much follow in my footsteps so let's create the badge now so first I mentioned uh, creating the text widget and you're gonna pull that in now when you add in a text widget you have a title and for this case I really just like to leave it blank I don't think this needs a, a heading above it you can see this is um, the title of the text widget that I'm using here for my Amazon book available at amazon.com in this case I like the clean look of my profile uh, background image in the profile picture right so I'm gonna leave it blank and I'm gonna search for I'm gonna to go to Google and search for Google Plus Batch now it's pretty darn simple you're gonna get this listing here it's developers.google.com you're gonna click on this link and you'll notice on the left we've got all these types of badges available and we, we happen to be or buttons and and things we can include on our website and we happen to be on the badge <clears throat> now it'll ask you what Google account do you want to use and I've got several associated with my email address so in this case I'm gonna select Brian G Johnson and here's the badge that you can see on my site now we can uh, edit the width we can make it skinny we can make it fat and for me I think I'm running at like what is it like about two around 250 or so 
That's pretty nice. And then all you need to do is just drag and drop, copy this code. So I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go back to my widget and you'd literally just copy and paste, click save, and you're done. And again, the result is this. So that welcomes people onto your site. You're, uh, you're, you're kind of instilling trust. You're leveraging familiarity with the image you're using. You're leveraging social proof. It's powerful. This is the very most powerful way to leverage Google Plus authorship. Now, what we want to do next is we're going to leverage this particular plugin that I mentioned and showed you. This is called Starbox. And what's really cool about this is that, number one, it's an author bio. So every time you post, this is going to come below your article. It's going to provide additional trust for people. And not only that, it's going to link up and add the right kind of code to your website to be able to get Google Plus authorship hooked up. So in other words, to get this to work, what you need to do is you need to create an account in Google Plus. Let me just show you how to do this as well. I think this will be helpful. So I'm going to go to, uh, let's go to Google. I'm then going to go to my Google Plus account. So I'm going to click on the plus and here's my Google Plus account. And I'm going to come down to my profile. So on the left here, you, you've got this navigation. You're going to come to profile. Now you'll notice that you can, you're going to either be viewing uh, your profile and your uh, page as yourself or as what the public sees. Now to show you the difference, if I select public, you'll notice that um, how many people are following me or have me in circles is displayed. There's a few other things that are displayed, right? You can see YouTube uh, pluses are displayed to the public. Now, what I want to do next is I'm going to select myself so I can edit this. Then I'm going to select the about page. And if I scroll down, you can see all the stuff you're going to want to fill in for your page. Now, you don't need to fill all this in for your uh Google authorship to work, but I'm going to recommend that you do. And here's why. Because it's not just about getting the little thumbnail picture next to your Google SERP results, right? It's not just getting the little image next to your Google site listings. It's about building a following so you can publish, you can market your content across the web. Forget link building, it's marketing your content to drive visitors, to build a list, to gain uh, authority and expert status and so on. So it doesn't take a lot of time. I did this in about a day and a half, just you know, an hour here, 20 minutes there. Um, I created a tagline, an introduction, et cetera, et cetera. Now for authorship, you're gonna wanna scroll down and this is the part we're interested in right here. Contributes to, you're gonna simply add a link to the website you want to hook up Google authorship to. So I've included Marketing Easy Street. If I click that, it takes me to my website, Marketing Easy Street. Now, after you've done that, then you're gonna come back to your website and you're gonna scroll to plugins, okay? Um, on the left side of the navigation, access plugins, then click add new. Then you're gonna search for star box. This is a really fantastic plugin. It's brand new. Um, it's already installed for me. You're going to click install, and when it's done installing, you're going to access it under settings and Starbox. Now, first off, what's going to happen is it's going to basically pull in your image. You don't have to upload it. You don't have to do much because it's going to see the email address associated with your WordPress installation. So make sure that the email that you're using to log into your website is the same email that you're using for your Google Plus account. Then you're going to basically say, you know, do you want it to show in post? Yes. You want it to show in posts and pages. And again, what we're creating now, if you remember, is this little bio box. So you're going to think of about a little tagline that you're going to add. You're going to uh, be able to uh, select some of the settings and so on. 
So you want it to be visible in post. You want it to be visible in pages. I don't add it to my feed. I want it to show an open graph. That's a little bit um, more detail, but you want this set to yes. This is going to help with Google uh, authorship. Now, the theme settings. Do you want this to show up above the article or below the article? I'm going to recommend that you have it show below the article. That way, when people are done reading your article, they're going to see, you know, this was published by Brian Johnson. It's going to contain your name, and then you're going to have this little bio. Now, to add that, what you're going to do is basically you're going to select the theme you want to use. So I'm using fancy. Business is lovely, too. Um, Minimal, they all look slightly different, okay? In fact, I'm going to use minimal. I, I like the way that looks. Now, you can add, use short codes and whatnot, but literally all you have to do is just click um, Save Settings. So I'm going to click Save Settings, and after that's done, scroll down, and then we're going to go to User Settings. And once you come to user settings, you're going to have the opportunity to add in your little bio. So have a, a few blurbs that shows up right here. And you might want to have a job title, a company, company URL, etc. And then you're done. And that, then what you're going to do is you're going to configure your social media settings. So these are all the options you have available to you. I've configured my Facebook page, my Twitter page, my Google+. Plus my YouTube account, and my cloud score. These are really the things that I'm focused on in my social media. And once I get things under control, in other words, once I have them up and running, then I go on and I add something else. So my Facebook page, I've got five or 600 followers. Um, I'm really going to be doing a lot of marketing with that in the coming weeks, and you'll see how and why as we move forward. Uh, Twitter, Google+, et cetera, et cetera. And that's it. And from that point on, you should be good to go. I want to show you one last thing. Let's come back to, once you get it all set up, come back to settings, and you're going to want to go back to the first page that you're going to use to configure the plugin. And at the bottom here, notice this. Use the Google tool to check rich snippets. So you're going to click that, and this is going to basically check to see if <clears throat> how you've set things up is working properly. And I can see my image, good. I can see it's linking back. Everything is working as it should. That's exactly what I want to see. So now I know things are set to go, and I'm up and running with uh, Google authorship. And it's, it's beyond that. We're optimizing our website. Uh, with familiarity, we're using the same image, we're welcoming people to the website, we're providing value, and if you like this video, please click share or like here on fa Facebook, uh, I'm sorry, on YouTube. If you've got any questions, just leave it below um, here on YouTube, and I'll make sure to get back to you. It's Brian G. Johnson from Marketing Easy Street, and uh, I encourage you also to visit my website if you'd like to learn more about how to really get results with your internet marketing, how to achieve the success you're after because you absolutely can. Brian G. Johnson, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.